clearly he's trying to evade some kind of criminal charge against him. Not a smart idea, considering, you know, in whatever state this actually happened in, they could file charges and have him extradited. But, you know, we'll just have to see for now. Alrighty, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to my loving, supporting, caring friends and family. Um, without you guys, to be honest with you, I probably would have been fucking committed suicide. Um, I've had a few close calls, you know what I mean? And um, each and every single time you guys have uh, gave me gave me the biggest, most heartwarming hug. You guys have offered your words of encouragement. You guys have sat back, um, took me by the hand, you know what I mean? And you guys have um, done nothing but show me love, compassion, support, you know what I mean? And for that, I am ever so fucking grateful, you know what I mean? This entire shit that has been going down um, from me getting fucked with, me getting kicked out of fucking apartments, people coming to my home when I was back in Bakersfield, tried to fucking murder my ass, you know what I mean? It's been pretty fucked up. Um, it's been a long ass fucking road. You know what I mean? A long, scary, dangerous road, you know? And again, like I mentioned before, I have nobody to blame but myself. I don't know what I can do to um, have you guys give me a second chance other than um, do what I can, you know, to um, seek out help, to get the right treatment, um, to understand what I did was wrong. And you guys have to understand, I know, I know people are like, you know, why did it take you so long to make this apology video? What took you so long? It's what, two, two and a half, three fucking years. Like, what the fuck? You guys have to understand, for the longest of time, I've been talking to different lawyers, trying to get an understanding of what to say and what not to say. And this has been a long time coming. I've been trying to fucking prepare for this shit. You know what I mean? So it's not like... You know, there's rumors out there saying that, oh, um, I don't have any remorse for what I did. I am completely fucking remorseful. I have um, done everything that I can to try to apologize to my friends, to my family, to the ones that this hurt the most. You know what I mean? So for you guys to sit back and say that I'm not remorseful, that couldn't be any more further from the truth. You know what I mean? That's something I will say, like, you guys don't know what you're talking about in that regard. Taking the proper steps to um, to living a better life, to seeking out proper treatment, to getting um, to getting uh, help, and to um, making sure that this does not happen again. Uh, this is not a fucking joke. I'm just telling that I lost the words. You know, two years ago, uh, kiss my ass. I'm not talking to you, you're talking to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, what's that? EDP got caught again. Has that ever occurred to anyone that maybe, just maybe, this man is beyond saving? I get it. He made some of the best memes on the internet at one point, but that doesn't excuse him from being a complete fucking degenerate. For those of you wondering, this isn't the second time he was caught, what I just showed you. This is the fucking third! What you saw earlier in this video is basically an apology video that EDP445 had made back in July. But what you don't know is that way before that, he got into an interview where he claimed that he was acting in the original cupcake video. You can't make this shit up, man. You, you just can't. Don't believe me? Here, take a listen. The incident that took place on April 18th, 2021, actually didn't occur. So explain what actually happened. Oh, it's simple what fucking occurred. I was set up. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing to sit back and try to, you know, conscrew or try to, you know, um, make it look like something different than what the fuck it already was. Like, I was set the fuck up, period. You know what I mean? And um, it's total bullshit, bro. Okay, so you're saying that you were set up. 
Now, explain how that actually happened. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, in the very beginning, I was emailed by chat um, because, I mean, I'm I'm assuming, I'm fucking guessing that somebody from, you know, the actual Wavelength Production Studios um, forwarded my email over to him. That's how he fucking got it up in the first place. That's how he was able to get in contact with me. You know what I mean? And so... We started chatting back and forth here and there and stuff like that, you know, and then um, we did the whole, you know, like we scheduled a time to meet and things of that nature. Went over to Rite Aid. Um, Javier, the camera guy, he walked me over to Chet. You feel me? And, um, you know, he basically, Chet basically had some chat logs and stuff like that. And he just wrote out a scenario and just told me to go with it. And that's what happened. So obviously at um, at first glance, the first Thing that would come to mind for a normal person would be who the fuck decides to take a role and play as a pedophile Th think about it right it's, you know you get contacted by this major studio and they're like hey we need you to act out a scene for us and that you ask oh what's the scene we want you to act like a child predator what the fuck kind of mindset is that like it makes sense, right, if it were Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, but you're a YouTuber that got ratted out as a pedophile, and you say absolutely nothing about it for, like, over a year. How do you think that's going to look for you, that you suddenly just go up and say, Oh my god, guys, I was casted for a scene! That's not the only issue I had with this whole little video as well. If you listen closely to the person asking the questions, it doesn't even sound like a person. It sounds more like an AI, like one of those crappy AI song covers that you'd find on YouTube. <laughs> not gonna lie, this, this AI, if it even is an AI, almost sounds like 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama. Mm, no, no, I don't understand this. Grilled cheese Obama. And that's when we get to today. Now, let me be clear with you all. I was really hesitant to make this video today. And the reason being is because a lot of other YouTubers have been getting struck down just for talking about this situation. Now, apparently, and suspiciously enough, YouTube enacted some new rules to their harassment policy in the terms of service. Uh, they've introduced, basically, a new clause in their community guidelines that kind of forbids this sort of content now. Only and only if you are in collaboration with a local police department or any law enforcement agency. Which is tough, because a lot of these... Uh, predator hunter videos that are out there aren't in collaboration with law enforcement so much of the evidence that they gather from there can't really be used in a court of law so here we are i'm still making the video i'm hoping i don't get struck down because really i've just shown you multiple instances where edp has proven to be a fucking predator not only with the EDP video, but we also have the cupcake video that is blatantly false. That's not even a real interview. And then we have all the other times where EDP has acted like a complete fucking dumbass. Not to mention all the shit he did on TikTok, where instead of talking about the allegations, TALK ABOUT THE allegations, He would instead embrace all of that and fucking milk it. Milk the shit out of it. As I'm recording this, Gideon hasn't released his video in collaboration with Skeeter Jean, where they confront EDP, which is the video that I showed you earlier today, that the, the little TikTok video that I sh showed you earlier today. So I'm not entirely sure what's in that video, what they uncovered, and I'm hoping that he does soon. Probably not going to make another video on this, because this has gotten em enough attention as is. So more than likely, unless something really wild happens, I won't, this is going to be my last EDP video. If there's one point I really, really want to drive here is that if you're going to make 
another predator video on EDP where you actually catch him? For fuck's sake, bring the police! I cannot fathom, I cannot emphasize this enough. If you're going to make a predator video, bring in the police. You clearly have them in 4K. If you do this completely on your own, it is worth jack shit in court. Bring in the police. Call them. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today's video. And I will see you all next time.